he's a quantico to go either. But come to Manassas. But I didn't know they were Marines at that time. But these men had that green uniform on. And it was just something different. The way they walked, the way they were built, the way they carried themselves in Manassas, different from the army and different from the Navy. Not saying anything wrong with the army. <laughs> what are you trying to say about the Navy? I'm, not saying, in. I'm <laughs> not saying anything. <laughs> All right. But it was a different the way they were. And there wasn't anybody that I saw in the Air Force. Yeah. At that time, it was called the Army Air Corps. Yeah, and they were just the same as the Army. But it was a difference. But once as I got a little older, then I knew they were Marines. And when the letter came out that they were going to accept us in the Marine Corps, that's where I was going. Not having any idea what I had to go through to be a Marine. And what happened was, being a youngster in boot camp, I said, well, we all had finished the rifle range, at least that, for that day. And we had the old tight cartridge belt. And I had just accidentally, I guess because anybody been in the service, when you leave the rifle range, all ammunition is supposed to stay on the rifle range. But I had this one round in my cartridge belt. Now, we were in the woods, in tents. All I had to do was just throw it out there in the woods. Nobody would never know the difference. No, I'm going to do the right thing. <laughs> I'm going to do the right thing. Got that round of ammunition and gave it to my tomb sergeant. He went up one side of me and down the other. And he said, boy, I'm not going to say what he said. But anyway, <laughs> he said, do you know how serious this is? I said, uh, yes, sir. And he said, I'm going to take you up to the colonel. So that's what he did. He took me up to the colonel. And the colonel looked at me and he said, boy, I'm going to give you two choices. You're going back to boot camp or you're going to get, go to get a uh, uh, court martial. I said, sir, I'll take the court martial. There's no way in the world I'm going back to the <laughs> Not as much, excuse me, hell as I caught. So we try to recycle you. Yes, no way. You, you can give me this court marks. I'm not going back to the boot camp. So he said, okay, we got something for you to do. He said, Sarge, take him out there. He said, we've got a six by six I want you to dig. He gave me a cell. And every evening after we got off the rifle range, I was out there with that, just a shovel, digging and picking, digging and picking that hole. Did six he really give six. you a shovel or one to blow a trench tool? Just, no, it was a shovel. Okay. Just a shovel. Digging that hole. And about 10 o'clock every night, I was out there four <laughs> nights. He'd come out there and get me. And the night before I fought a uh, record, he came out there and he measured that hole. I had it, I had it squared away. He measured that hole and took me out of that hole the night before record. And that day, when I fired record, I fired sharp shoot, sharp shoot. He said, oh, but, but my hands were sore from digging that hole that night. And me and those mosquitoes, we were rafting out that night, but I was determined to get that hole dug. The good thing is he didn't make me fill it up. And usually they make you fill it up. Hey, go ahead. Make me fill it up. You know, it's my understanding that many of the uh, blacks in the uh, North New Jersey area, doing, when they first opened up the uh, ranks for the Joint Marine Corps, they actually wanted to join the Navy. They were all at the examination station to join the Navy when some officer walked out and said, You, 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 go over there, you're going to be in the Marines. And that's how. He and a bunch of other guys yeah. ended up in there. I heard about course. that happening. Yeah. Yeah. They had, they did it during Vietnam, too. They used to go, you're a Marine, you're an Army, you're a Marine. These guys tried to go in the Army, or they were drafted. Yeah. And they just picked them and put them where they wanted. Hey, hey, hey. you know, I'm not going to take but so much be smirching on the Army. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, uh, Gunny, could you uh, let us know a little bit about Hashmark Johnson and uh, yeah. Sergeant uh, Major Huff? Well, they were Huff and Hashmark Johnson were the, First. I guess you might say the, uh, 
stalwart was of the Marine Corps, black Marine Corps. See, they had been in the Army, in the Navy, in the Navy before they came into the Marine Corps. Well, see, at that time, we had officers who were in the Army. When they said go in the Marine Corps, they gave up their commission to come into the Marine Corps. And we didn't understand why, because they had to go through boot camp. And when they finished boot camp, they were buck private. Uh-huh. That that commission was something going out the window. But we just but the guys were coming from the Navy, coming from the Army, coming from the Army Air Corps at that time. It wasn't the Air Force, it was Army Air Corps. Coming into the Marine Corps. And we couldn't understand. And they had rank. Coming in there as a buck going through all that they were going through that boot camp just to say I'm a Marine. But that's what we had. We had a lot of them coming in there. Johnny, having hindsight, I know you couldn't tell, you know, when you first were going into the military what life was going to be later on. But having, having hindsight,